What is good with the YouTube fight fans all over the world? It's your boy, the realest of the real. Yes, sir, I said it. Real Talk Boxing. It is a privilege, an honor, and a major blessing to be back with you beautiful people yet again. Bill Haney and Floyd Mayweather. Um, FaceTime chat. It was a little weird. It was a little awkward. Uh, but I, I, I favored Mayweather in, in, in the situation. And I'm not a huge Mayweather fan, y'all. So, I mean, I'm not taking up for him. I'm just stating how wrong Bill was. You may or may not know Bill is not one of my favorite people. You know, as a believer, I'm supposed to pray for people and love people. And uh, Bill makes it hard to love him. <laughs> he's, he's uh, you know, before I go any further, I'm probably going to get a lot of heat about this video because anytime I'm talking about race, Certain people get upset with me, man, and uh, that's okay. I mean, my opinion is my opinion; it is what it is. And if I if I upset if I upset you with this video, it's not my intention, you know. Um, but Bill Haney is a true definition of an angry black man. Uh, Bill Haney is a manipulator, a, a car salesman, and he's also a liar. Um, if you just paid attention to the conversation with him and Floyd, there was two or three different lies I caught him in. Um, I honestly don't believe Floyd Mayweather called with the intent to upset um, Bill Haney. I don't know who called who, but, you know, they had to chat. And I don't think it was Floyd's intention, which is not hard to make Bill Haney mad. All you have to do is disagree with something that, you know, he says, and, and you know, he'll just jump all down your throat, you know. Um, he strikes me as the type of person who can dish it out and not take it. He strikes me as the type of person who, you know, do as I say, not as I do. And it's funny to me how someone who's so big, big on their culture, big on their people, um, the first time he gets mad at one is of one is the first time he gets mad at one of his people. The N-word spews out of his mouth. He just regurgitates the N-word. The second he gets upset. Uh, to me, that's disgraceful. It's distasteful. It's disgusting. And it's ignorant. Because um, I can guarantee you if anybody outside of his race says that word, he would have a major issue with it. But yet you can call your people that and it's not a problem. He's those type. He's that type of dude. I know dudes like that. Walk around all day saying the N-word. But as soon as somebody outside that race says it, or they hear about it, or they think they said something about it, they want to kill him. That word is not used in his house. I think it's a horrible thing to call somebody. And I don't care what color you are. If you call me that, we're going to have an issue. That's how I feel about that situation. But Mr. Bill Haney, who's big on his community, he doesn't mind saying that type of stuff. Now, Floyd was wanting to know what the issue was, what the beef was. And Bill Haney was smiling, fixing his glasses, you know, stuttering a bit. And then he instantly got upset. Now, it may be because he's a little salty about Devin, Devin losing the fight. Floyd may have, may or may not have gave Ryan Garcia some information for him to use in order to better suit himself. You know, put himself in a better position in that fight. But it is what it is. Y'all thought y'all had it in the bag. But he went on to say things about Floyd that didn't make any sense. He wouldn't let Floyd talk. Floyd asked for the floor. He said, I'm going to give you the floor. And he continued to bump off at the mouth. Um, Floyd stayed calm and respectful until he brought Floyd's kids into the mix, which is something that you don't do. He tried to twist Floyd's words around, was trying to make Floyd out to be saying things that Bill was actually saying. Bill was like, dude, you spending all this money on these women. You should be spending it on your kids. And then later on during the conversation, Bill was like, why are you in my business? Floyd was like, you in my business. What other man worries about what another man is spending money on a woman for? And he said, Bill, it's not about money. And Bill said, you brought up money, Floyd. He was like, no, I didn't. Bill, you brought up money. You was the one talking about spending all this money on these women and not my kids. 
and you certified street. <laughs> Floyd said it's not about being in the streets, bro. I come out of the streets. You know what I'm saying? You got your son out of the streets. He said, well, I'm still certified. What? Why would you glorify something like that? Bill, you ain't certified street, bro. You what? 50? I mean, same age as I am, maybe? Mid-40s? And you talk about you still certified street, you hood. You too old for that, man. That is nothing to be bragging about. That ain't nothing for a son or anybody else to look up to. You bumping off at the mouth. You mad at Floyd for whatever reason. You throwing curse words everywhere, calling this brother an N-word this, N-word that. And then you want to talk about his kids. And try to twist his words around and lie about what you said. Bill Haney is not one of my favorite people. And I think it would serve his son well to find him a, a new trainer. I'm not saying throw his dad to the wayside. He's family. I'm not saying that. But man, find you a new trainer. Because just like his levels and fighters, there's levels in coaching and trainers. And I think Devin Haney should search for another trainer. You know what I'm saying? I always said Sean Porter would have done a lot better in his career, even though he did a lot in his career. World champion, that's the goal. But if, I believe if he would have left, you know, Kenny Porter, his father, for another trainer who could take him to that next level, his legacy would have been that much more. Father and son duos in boxing don't always, nine times out of ten, they just end up horrible. And I don't think Bill Haney, honestly, should have been looking for his in better interest of his son in, in, the, in the Garcia fight because I would have stopped that fight. The second night, the first knockdown was scary, you know, and I would have been real cautious. I would, I would have, I would have gotten a corner and said, "Man, if you go down like that again, I'm stopping the fight." But he didn't, and and, and that's just just more of a, a reason to respect Devin for not quitting. But man, you didn't look out for the for the best interests of your son, in my in my opinion, because if that was my son, I would have stopped that fight. I don't care if he was mad at me or not. You know, I think you salty about taking that L. I think you salty about Floyd actually giving Garcia some some vital information. And you probably wish it was your son. Because Mayweather stated, hey, do you need me? Some, do you did your son need help? I'll help him. But you don't need nothing from Floyd. You know, you ain't gonna kiss Floyd, you know what, just because he's Floyd Mayweather. But Floyd, in my opinion, called with respect and wanted to know what was going on. And Bill, you flew out the handle. And you acted complete and utter like gutter like gutter trash bro and it's not a good look i'm gonna pray for you bill <laughs> and y'all pray for me because it's hard for me to like bill bill be making me mad man he just don't make sense to me but listen i want to know your opinion on this so please comment down below let your boy real talk know as always respect all fear now god bless until next time real talk boxing them up and i'm out of here bang